All right, this is a tutorial just for creating a Turning Point software uh, PowerPoint presentation. So if you haven't done so, go ahead and you can just watch. It's just simply turning on Turning Point, opening it up. I've had it on a few times earlier today, so it's already um, it comes up rather quickly. One of the first things now this is this is as you can see up in the top Microsoft PowerPoint. So uh, Turning Point is a part of Microsoft's PowerPoint uh, systems. So if you're familiar with using PowerPoint, then Turning Point shouldn't be that difficult. Uh, one of the first things you need to do uh, is develop a participants list. You can easily do this just by going onto the Turning Point 2008 button, finding participants, and then just you can either import some list or you can um, use the participant list wizard and it'll create list for you. So I've already done that with a couple of my classes and with some other things that I've been working on. So I'm just going to open one and use mine. I'm going to use the staff development one. That'll be my participant list that I'm using over in the side here. Now, um, creating a poll using Turning Point isn't any harder than just creating a PowerPoint presentation slide. So um, as you work at it, you can get faster at it and stuff. Sometimes it helps to already have the questions just listed out somewhere so that you can write them in and type them up. But uh, it's very simple. Many different uh, options you can use. Here is the insert object. If you found something on the internet or you have some pictures scanned in of great multiple choice questions that you want to use or just some objects that you want to sit up on your PowerPoint presentation, of course, insert object would be the place to use it. Uh, for simplicity's sake, I'm just going to use the insert slide. I'm going to go down and just create a three answer slide. Nothing major. And you can see it pulls it up here. These are the answer choices. Here's where you would make your question. And then in the corner here, it shows how many responded to the different selections. Uh, we'll make ours very simple. Just what is your favorite color? And we can put the answers here, red. green and blue. So there's our three answer choices and you can pick how many you want to be over here as correct and incorrect. Of course if you pick one that is correct then of course the others will go to incorrect and that's perfectly understandable. So that's just how that works. Um, to watch the actual slide and to get it to use in the format and people actually taking the poll, you have to run the system and there's a couple of things that you can watch on there so we'll go ahead and um, watch the slideshow. Alright, so here's our system. This is what it looks like when you actually have the poll open. As you can see, it says polling open here. Uh, user feedback, responses. There hasn't been anyone responding yet. Um, there's a lot of different buttons up here that you can click. This one will help you to see who is listed in and um, who's, who's working on it. That one just hides some of the feedback so that people don't exactly see um, who's not doing anything. Now this is my favorite one. Show the non-response grid. You can press F8 or you can just press this button. And you can see down here at the bottom who has responded and who has not. Now, this is very helpful for when you're waiting and you're not sure you know, who's taking the longest or if some people are still working and stuff and you don't want to call anybody out you can easily look up on your monitor and see who hasn't responded yet. So 
those are just some quick easy things to do with the polling system and I'll close this out and go back to our slide presentation and from here it's just that simple you go over and save just like you would a normal PowerPoint presentation and then when you're ready to use it you just turn it on and you can poll your students in class that is it